And it certainly has been a wet 24 hours all across Kelloland. This is what it looked like early this afternoon along 69th Street in the southwest side of Sioux Falls. People trying to drive in and out of the Heart Hospital had to use a maze of parking lots to get around. A similar scene along South Ellis Road where pools of water made it nearly impassable for drivers. Kelloland's Brady Mallory spoke with the driver and shows you what the city is doing to keep up with all of this rain. As the drops come down, roadblocks seem to overflow. It's kind of crazy. Even over by Harrisburg, there's some more flooding over there as well. Miranda Griss had just picked up her child at daycare when she had a tough time getting through. Well, it was pretty jerky. I was a little scared, so, um, you know, the car did bottom out a little bit. Construction crews are doing some pavement upgrades in this area. When we're doing the earthwork and, and doing the utilities, that's when it usually hits us the hardest because, uh, you know, that, that ground gets really soft and wet, and then we got to wait for things to dry out. That can get a little tricky because there are few ways to get from east to west here. To help drivers avoid becoming trapped, subcontractors laid gravel to build up the roads and make them more drivable during the heavy rain. We appreciate the patience people have when they're going through there. And then when, when we do have these storm events, we, you know, we do ask people, make sure you're going through a project very slow. Gris was able to drive through, and for that, she's overflowing with gratitude. Got it through, so. <laughs> Brady Mallory, Kelloland News. Peterson says workers will put a more long-term fix on the roads after the weather dries out.